Hi, my name is Mike Nash, I'm the author of Aggressive Health, and this is an introductory video to some videos I'm about to put together on the subject of magnesium. Now, the thing to realize is that throughout Aggressive Health, we touch on the subject of magnesium, but we don't really talk about it specifically. What we talk about are principles that can help you raise your magnesium levels up through consuming things like green-based vegetable juices, green-based superfood smoothies, and if you read the chapter about sprouty foods and about nuts and seeds, you'll realize that if you use nuts and seeds to make a nut milk, using things like almonds, Brazil nuts, hemp seeds, that kind of thing, then that goes a long way to increase the magnesium content of your diet. Also, sea vegetables, a very powerful uh, addition to your diet to increase your magnesium levels. But the question becomes, well, why would you want to do that? Why is increasing magnesium levels a good thing? Well, According to research, 80% of people in Western civilization have got a deficient in magnesium. And you add that to the fact that the majority of habits that people engage in massively strip magnesium out of the system. So, let's have a look at some of them. Sugar, okay, that's the first thing. Let's look, let's look at what most people do. Cereal for breakfast. Most cereal is effectively has the same impact on your body as sugar. Chemically, very weak chemically bonded carbohydrate. You add to the fact that most, most cereals have got sugar on top of them. Then you add to the fact that people put sugar, sugar on top of their cereal. Then you've got the jam that people put on their white bread. And there's a chemical in, in white bread called um, alloxin, which actually interferes with the, uh, the beta cells that can destroy the beta cells of the pancreas, which sends out insulin, which keeps your blood sugar levels stable and under control, which prevents you from being overweight. Now you might think, whoa, too much information, Mike, but at the same time, we're gonna be covering some of these points in future videos, so pay close attention. Then you've got the people who get to work, oh, a cup of tea, a couple of sugars, please, oh yeah, go on, I'll have a biscuit, oh, go on, I'll have another one. Next thing you know, it's lunchtime, they're having another sandwich, white bread, some little snack, little treat, um, as some people call it. So sugar is going to, into their system all the time. In fact, for some people, sugar occupies their system morning, noon, and night, and they wonder why they're overweight, because they don't understand the dynamics of what happens when too much sugar enters the system. We're gonna cover this in a future video and how that relates to weight gain. Next thing you've got is pharmaceutical use, you know, or the use of pharmaceutical drugs or recreational drugs. For example, cocaine massively strips co uh, magnesium out of the body. Pharmaceutical drugs can rob the body of much needed magnesium. And then you've got things like stress. You know, If people are gonna be consuming all this sugar, and you know, and it's stripping away B vitamins, stripping away magnesium. I mean, magnesium is a calming mineral. We talk about that in the book. So you add that on top of that, the fact that if you're re reducing your calming mineral and you've got a stressful job, so your stress levels go up, well, stress also depletes magnesium. So right now, you know, it's like you've turned on the tap of magnesium depletion. All of these principles. The other thing, alcohol. What do most people do at the weekends? They go out, boom, and they're getting sloshed. Magnesium depletion, magnesium depletion. And what's the other thing as well? Excess sweating. So, you know, athletes, especially those athletes at high intense sports where they're sweating like basketball, squash, you know, sports like that. People need to pay attention because as magnesium level depletes, let me tell you, it isn't a pretty picture. You look at all the major diseases of civilization, heart disease, you know, they've shown that in heart attack patients, magnesium levels in the heart are very low, whereas calcium levels are very high. We're gonna to touch on calcification again in a future video. Cancer, now there's a lot of dynamics and a lot, a lot of mechanisms that, that go towards cancer, and there's a lot of people that reckon they've got the answer. However, it appears to me through research, there are a lot of mechanisms that you need to line up if you're gonna help steer away from cancer and maintain a long, healthy, joyous life. One of those things is making sure you maintain integrity of the mitochondria, the energy producing part of the cell inside the cell, which produces the ATP. Now, what happens? Well, sometimes if magnesium levels deplete from all those things we talked about, sugar, alcohol, stress, sweating, and even a high protein diet, well, magnesium levels plummet, more calcium enters the cell, and guess what happens? The mitochondria gets calcified. That's not a place you want to be. So, this is why through Aggressive Health, we talk about, and I'm gonna say again, the green-based vegetable juices, the green-based smoothies, nut milks as a foundation of your superfood smoothie, and then other superfoods to add into the equation. Add to the fact things like chlorella and the green superfoods, you can boost your magnesium levels up, seed vegetables as well. There does exist, however, 
something else which you can do, which is what the next video is really about, which is why we're talking to you from my bathroom here, called transdermal magnesium therapy. Take away the word therapy and just think transdermal magnesium usage. Let's have a look at what it is and why it's important for you. First of all, next to your toothpaste, yeah, this is where you want to keep your, your magnesium chloride, your magnesium infusion or your magnesium oil. It's all pretty much much of a muchness. Keep it next to your toothpaste because I want you to think this is as important as brushing your teeth. Okay, And the reasons will become apparent if you continue watch, to watch this little mini video series. So, what do you actually do with these? Well, all you do is you take it and you spray it on your body and you rub it in. Now transdermal just means it's going to enter through the skin, okay? Your skin is an organ, you spray it onto your skin, it gets absorbed. Research has shown that by using transdermal magnesium on your skin, you can spray it on your arms, you can spray it on your chest, keep it away from your nipples, personal experience. Just spray it on your thighs, spray it on your, you know, on your calves, spray it on your back, spray it on areas where there's muscle tightness because magnesium helps relax muscles. So that's, that's what you want to do, spray it anywhere. Five to ten sprays, some people go way over that to really boost magnesium levels, although there are contraindications if you use too much, because as with everything, you want to maintain balance. But remember, the reason we started this video series, according to research, 80% of people are deficient in magnesium, and you've only got to look at the health habits of the majority of people to see why. I'm going to repeat them again, so listen up. Too much sugar. If you see someone overweight, you can pretty much guarantee low magnesium levels. Uh, alcohol usage. There's a lot of people that are binging on alcohol. You know, having, having a drink from time to time is one thing, drinking all the time is another. Stress, high protein diet, excess sweating. You know, so keep that in mind. If you're using far infrared saunas, by the way, or if you go to the gym and you go in a sauna afterwards, remember, magnesium could become very critical in your health routine. So you spray it on once or twice a day, three times a day, it's up to you, and it's as simple as that. So in the next few videos, we're going to talk about magnesium's role with regards to magnesium and calcium and the relationship there with regards to building strong bones. We're going to talk a little bit more about magnesium and weight loss and how magnesium, um, sort of the relationship between magnesium and insulin, the insulin receptors, insulin receptor sites on cells, magnesium levels within a cell and how it protects against toxic metals and how when you increase magnesium levels, you actually, they, they show that you can... Um, the heavy metal show up in the urine means that some of these harmful metals like cadmium and lead, etc., which bind to things like testosterone, which guys you should really pay attention at that point. So making it important, making it um, clear as to how and why magnesium is critical. We're also going to talk about uh, mag yeah, magnesium detoxification and magnesium and its role with regards to um, some of the major diseases of civilization, such as diabetes, cancer, heart disease, etc., etc. So pay attention to the videos that are coming forth. If you don't, if you're kind of thinking to yourself, oh, what he's trying to do is sell me some magnesium spray lips. The, the advantage is this stuff is very cheap, okay? It's not an expensive product. You're looking at like 12, 13 pounds, depending on what size you buy. And um, if you don't want to purchase something like this and you don't want to have it sitting there on your sink next to your toothpaste, reminding you of the importance, just get your copy of Aggressive Health. If you don't want to buy it, you can get it for free from the library. Imagine that, read through it and increase the magnesium uh, content of your diet because in a world that we live in right now, calcium intake is too high in Western civilization. Magnesium levels, magnesium intake isn't high enough and the magnesium robbers are everywhere. I'm going to repeat them one last time just so you know. Sugar, alcohol, a high protein diet, excess stress and excess sweating. So keep those ideas in mind, look out for the future videos and get hold of your copy of Aggressive Health. We'll see you on the next video.